Good evening. At the September 27th Edinburgh CISD school board meeting, there was a controversial discussion about LED lighting fiasco. LED lights were installed at six campuses, De Escandon, Cavazos, Eisenhower, Truman, Zavala, and Monte Cristo Elementary Schools. I would echo two assertions made by school board member, Mr. Sunny Palacios. Number one, LED lighting is a wave of the future. And number two, the district process for making this change was apparently circumvented when another board member reportedly directed the district to install the LED lights without first vetting the topic before the full board. We jumped the gun, or rather put the cart before the horse. Apparently our district bought LED equipment from EnviroLite. I don't know who EnviroLite is yet, but my understanding is that the company is from Canada and that we paid a premium for LED equipment. During the discussion at the school board meeting, a school administrator reported that EnviroLite subcontracted the middleman, Econ Group, to do the installations. I do know who Econ Group is. Econ, Econ Group is based here in Edinburgh and it's owned by a former board member, Gilbert Enriquez, who worked alongside some of our current board members. Apparently, this former board member subcontracted installation of the lights to First Class Electric Services out of Townview, a company with three employees and who did not do a proper installation job. We know this because we've had fires in the electrical switch boxes at two of the schools, possibly five. The problem is apparently so bad that the local fire marshal and the state fire marshal helped bring the project to a grinding halt and they are now involved in trying to fix the problem. It's apparently so bad that electricians have been assigned around the clock to the six elementary schools to monitor for fires. That was phase one of the project and it apparently cost the district roughly three quarters of a million dollars. The district is trying to fix things apparently so that it can start phase two of the project and to add more schools. Is this going to be another three quarters of a million dollars for another six schools? And will phase three soon follow? Here's another important point. I think most of us know that LED lights that cost $20 a few years ago are now available for a fraction of the cost. I know that because I ordered some today from Amazon at 70% off the list price. These prices are available to homeowners like you and me and with no bulk rates that would be available to the school district. Why did the school district pay top dollar when the purchase was made earlier this year? After the meeting, board member Robert Benia put it on, posted on social media that school administration had, quote, thrown him under the bus. That leads the taxpayer to ask, are our children and our employees being placed in danger because of dysfunction or greed or both? Is this a case of the tail wagging the dog? The bottom line, the district is accountable for the safety of our children and the safety of our employees in these schools, and also to the taxpayers and to the community. Transparency and accountability matters. Thank you.